How do I look? Yeah, I'm just gonna name the <clears throat> elf in the room. Not a lot of black Jews, right? Hello. Hi. What's your name? What do you do? Uh, my name is Jacob Benjamin Glickman, and I'm the director of experiential Jewish life at a synagogue here in Seattle. I'm Bertha Baby, and I am Seattle's premier Jewish drag queen. Premier, not only. Essentially only, but I don't want some bitch coming at me later and being like, I'm a Jew too, so. Are you religious at all? I'm spiritual, I grew up uh, Catholic. So today you're gonna guess who's Jewish. Yeah, just like Hitler did. <laughs> Heavy. You know, I think it's bold to imagine Jews in a room not talking about the Holocaust, but the truth is, like, a horrible atrocity happened to us, and I'm not scared to bring it up. Are you nervous at all? Yeah, I feel the weight of my people on my shoulders. Yeah, absolutely. I was super nervous. Why? Because I know nothing about Jewish people. What are stereotypes of Jewish people? It's just a challenging question to answer. Why um, is that? Why is that? Because there's a lot of anti-Semitism going on right now. More recently, I remember one night, randomly I was in downtown here going to my car and someone came up to me and was like, what do you think about this? And he pulls up his sleeve and there's an SS tattoo. It was not pleasant. How do you think you're gonna do? I'm gonna learn a lot. All right, everybody head out there. You're right. Oh, oh, I didn't expect that. He's black. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> And there's one Jew amongst them, correct? No. Oh, oh, so it could be any number. All right. If there was one Jewish person here, who would it be right now? Take a guess. Gabe. <laughs> you have such striking blue eyes. Thank you. She is not reading stereotypically Jewish to me. So if I was to say, like, Sheket Bavaka Sha. Nope. Cool. <laughs> Do you know anything about Jewish culture? Yeah, a little bit. Do you know what the. It's called the yarmulke. Uh, yeah, she's Jewish. <laughs> I don't think you're Jewish. I don't think Emma's Jewish. Why don't you think I'm Jewish? I'm I'm not getting a, a Jewish vibe from you. Also, okay. there's a the Sheket Bavaka Sha, which is something a lot of Jewish kids grew up with. I think you're Jewish. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dang! Wow. But I'm a convert. Ah, so okay. That's where it comes in. Oh, damn. That's that's the curveball. Wow. So I didn't grow up Jewish, so I don't know your kid's yeah. song. <laughs> dang. That was that was my bad. Why did you choose to convert? I majored in religious studies in college mm -hmm. and just really grew to love it. That's really beautiful. Did you convert locally with Rabbi Cadden? Yes. Cool. <laughs> I love Rabbi Cadden. Yeah, favorite. he's a great guy. Yeah. How hard is it to convert? If you are very invested in it, it's not hard at all. But if you're in it for the wrong reasons, it's going to be hard. So I can't like walk in and be like, I want to be Jewish and tomorrow I'm you Jewish. You could, but people would not appreciate that. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Based on what I'm seeing, I would say you look Middle Eastern, which could potentially mean Jewish. If I was in Israel and grew up in, in Israel, I might have more connections with Arab Jewish people. I don't have too many and so, yeah, this is this is just making me realize this, the whiteness of the community, the Jewish communities I'm a part of. When did you first learn about the Jewish faith? When I was little. Did you celebrate Christmas? I did celebrate Christmas, but that was just for funsies because I was a kid. What bagels do you get? The ones from Panera, the Asiago one. The Asiago Panera bagels. Really mm. good. Intriguing. What did your parents want you to do when you were growing up? Be a lawyer. Yeah, I know that lawyer thing. That's a pretty <laughs> traditionally Jewish, I think that's actually from Torah, you know? Do you know what that little spin thing is called? Uh, a dreidel? She's Jewish! You celebrate Christmas for funsies, which is like your parents are like, I don't want you to feel left out with your classmates. <laughs> and you know what the ladle is dreidel. called? Dreidel. Dreidel. Do you have a favorite Yiddish word? Baklava. I don't believe that's Yiddish, but great. <laughs> you had me for a second with the mom wanting you to be a lawyer, but not knowing that baklava isn't Yiddish, I'm gonna say probably not Jewish. Asiago cheddar from Panera, no chance, is not a Jew. I'm not Just, a Jew. Yeah. <laughs> we know better. I'm not Jewish. What the? <laughs> You're not Jewish, but then I'm like, there must be another religion that doesn't celebrate Christmas, that would know all of that shit. Yes, okay, so I'm okay. Muslim. Ah! Yes, and Islam is very, very close to Judaism and the ways that they look at God and celebrate God and look at prophets and such. My dad's whole side was actually from Palestine, but they moved oh, over to Jordan due to like racial contentions. So like, as I'm learning more about my culture and like Palestine, I'm also learning more about like Judaism. It's like they're similar. so similar. Salam Aleikum, Shalom Aleichem, I mean. Absolutely. There was a long history in that region of Jews and Arabs and Muslims living side by side 
and like exactly. and like and like not just peace, but like celebration and like cultural sharing and, exactly. and everything. And so like let's let's try to go back there. Yeah. Like, can I give you a hug? Is that <laughs> now that's a Jew. <laughs> that is a Jew's Jew. Right there. Yeah. Do I need to ask questions? You definitely look stereotypically very Jewish. I, I mean, like look at this. I mean, come on. <laughs> When going to Friday night services, front, middle, or back section? Back. Back. Jews get to synagogue early to get the back row seats. In the Jewish faith, the like coming of age, sweet 16 thing, what is that called? I know what it's called. My mind immediately goes blank on what it's called. And for some reason, I'm getting the wrong one. I'm going for the specific coming of age for uh, Mexican women. I know it's not He said quinceanera. <laughs> He's not Jewish. He didn't have a quinceanera. I think you're Jewish. Jew. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> what? <laughs> you should be. You'd be really good at it. <laughs> have you been to Friday night services? My church did services all throughout the weekend. Church. Cool. <laughs> what is your religion, ethnicity? Religiously, I'm Christian. Ethnically, I'm mixed. My dad's black, my mom's white. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Is this the first time that you've elicited this response with your existence? Not at all. I've been mistaken as Jewish a lot. I, I wonder why. Have you experienced anti-Semitism? I have, actually. I work with a lot of political spheres. Okay. And I've specifically just gotten messages that were just slurs. Wow. Got Facebook hate for that stuff. Going for like 30 minutes just calling me slurs. I'm like, I'm not Jewish guys. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Oh, I didn't know that that happened to Jewish people and now I feel really fucking stupid. I mean, you looked the part already, like you'd be welcomed in. I mean, you ever thought about just making the jump? I haven't, but I appreciate it. Getting the snip, you know? <laughs> I'm, all I'm all good there. <laughs> oh, you're so well put together. I love your whole just like, mm. Thank you. A little too well dressed for most Jews that I know, honestly. I like the, I like the shirt a lot. I'm seeing a nice dark beard. You know, it's, it could be a Jewish beard for sure. It's nicely groomed, so maybe not. What are some stereotypes of like Jewish people? And do you fit any of them? Yes, being hairy, speaking Hebrew. You uh, speak Hebrew? I do. He's Jewish. On a scale of one to 10, how do you feel about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Quickly. Um, I am for free Palestine and liberation for all. Okay, you answered seriously, so I guess we'll talk about it. Um, <laughs> is that something that you keep up with regularly? I do, because mm -hmm. I do believe in coexistence, and I yeah. believe that um, Israelis and Palestinians should live in peace. Absolutely. I bet a lot of people would hear that you're pro-Palestine and think you couldn't be a Jew, but I had the joyous experience to visit Israel last year, and I spoke with so many civilians, and it was Lovely to see so many people say, like, government, schmovermint, we want everybody to live in peace. I'm gonna guess you are Jewish. I'm actually not Jewish. Okay. Um, I do have some Jewish ancestry in me. Okay. Do you feel connected to that Jewish part of your ancestry? My parents never told me anything about our ancestry. All I know is, like, we're Palestinian and we're displaced during 1948, but there was a specific term for Palestinian Jews who were living there before 1948, mm -hmm. and a lot of people were hiding their identity, including my grandma, because right. of fear of persecution. Wow. So are you religious? I identify as an atheist. Has anyone mistaken you for being Jewish? All the time, everybody. Palestinians even. They were like, are you Israeli? Are you Jewish? You speak Hebrew. Fascinating. So Thank why you. did you learn Hebrew? I believe when you learn the language of a group of people, you can communicate with them and that helps in reaching a resolution and learning that we are more similar than different. Beautiful. Have you ever confided in a rabbi? <laughs> No, no. Do you have any tattoos? I do. Mm -hmm. Dead rat, little Mother Mary. Mm -hmm. Incredible. I'm going to say that you are not Jewish. I think seeing the Mother Mary probably helped me immediately realize. Do you know any Hebrew words? Yes. Atmeda Berivrit? Yeah, I think I know. <laughs> you have an Israeli accent. I'm going to say you're Jewish. I am. Yes. <laughs> I am full Jew. Okay, yeah. full Jew. <laughs> Very Jewish. And you identify that way? Yes. Did you grow up in Israel at all? Did you spend time there? For the last five years, I've been living near Tel Aviv. What's it like being an American Jewish person living in Israel? I mean, I got the nickname Amerikakit from time to time. <laughs> like little American shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's an Israeli term of endearment. It's a term of affection. Yeah, right. <laughs> the other guy was talking about how he kind of was experiencing some hate crimes, even though he like wasn't Jewish. Do you experience that? I have had situations where I've told people that I'm Jewish and they will um, 
call me different slurs. What is this about calling Jewish people slurs? What do people have against Jewish people? There's been anti-Semitism again for thousands of years. You know, there was the Holocaust that happened. That's insane and I apologize for my ignorance on not knowing this. Or I guess not putting two and two together that this is Hitler. But still, that's just insane. Thank you for telling me all that. How do I look? Yeah, I'm just gonna name the <laughs> elf in the room. Not a lot of black Jews, right? Um, but I'd love to get to know you. <laughs> oh God, this is terrible. Why is it terrible? Because you're black. That's a bad thing? No, I mean, there could be black Jews because Tiffany Haddish exists, and you could also be a convert, so. Are you single? Yes. Do you date Jewish people often, or have you historically dated Jewish people? I have dated Jewish people. I wouldn't say that I exclusively look for Jewish people. And how many of those Jewish people have long blonde hair? None of them. <laughs> Great, because this is a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know any Hebrew? Mm -hmm. You. Okay, wait. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you have like Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. How would you say that last one? Hanukkah. How do you spell it? With a C H. With a C H. Mm -hmm. Cool. I think Jordan's Jewish. <laughs> I just have a feeling that if you're Jewish, you see it more C H, maybe H, but the C H for me was a thing. I am gonna stick with my gut. I don't think you're Jewish. He doesn't look Jewish. But I've also done a historically bad job at this so far, so we'll see. I am Jewish. Dang it! That was a good thing. Oh yeah, I love thing, the right? Jews. Sorry. Oh, I thought we were celebrating this. <laughs> Don't you dare put that on TikTok! <laughs> My dad and his whole side of the family are Jewish. Cool. I did very much grow up celebrating Hanukkah, Passover, Yom Kippur, uh, Rosh Hashanah, all of those things. Can you like teach me something in Hebrew? Baruch Ata Adonai. Baruch Ata. Ata. Adonai. Adonai. What did I say, actually? Praise be thou. But yeah. that was not all of it. That was just the yes. start. Growing up with this like Jewish aspect and your skin tone. The elephant in the room? I mean, <laughs> have you ever gotten shit for being black and Jewish? Uh, no. Uh, I've been called Drake before, uh, as well as um, Lenny Kravitz. Yep. Those are almost compliments at that point. I, I mean, I'll tell you, definitely. Uh, depending on what Drake you're talking about. Right. Um, have you been to Israel before? I have not been to Israel. Do you want to go? Yes. What's your schedule look like after this? I don't know. <laughs> like, are you free on Tuesday? <laughs> Who did Sierra guess correctly? Oh, wow. Cool. 50%? Yeah. It was the one. <laughs> one. How was that for you? Really uncomfortable. Um, right <laughs> off the bat. My own internal biases were just put right front and center. My visual assessment was based on the like European descent, the Ashkenazic Jewish uh, complexion when there are tons of Jews from other parts of the world that don't look like that or don't look like me. And so this was a huge learning and growth moment for me and is expanding my worldview and Jew view, I guess, as well. <laughs> Earlier, you made a joke about Hitler. Yeah. Six million Jews were killed. Eleven million were planned to be killed. That was the goal. And there were opportunities to stop it and the world didn't. That makes me violently upset. And we still experience racism to this day. And it's a systemic racism, which a lot of people I think are scared to talk about. So at the very least, I'm going to make jokes about it in front of other people. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, everybody can leave. Jordan, stay right there. <laughs>